Let's go downstairs. Okay. feels so good to be back eating my fruit bowl again. It's been over a month since I've made this for myself and mm, it's just so good. It's like returning home. <laughs> so I've basically been traveling a lot in January. I spent the first 10 days of the year in Costa Rica with Wilson and that was the best idea to do like a new year vacation. We stayed in the rainforest for the first half and then we stayed by the beach for the second half. And a highlight was living on this eco lodge. It was called Rancho Margot and it was basically like this hotel slash farm. You can live there, but they also have a farm with like animals and they grow all their food in their gardens. They compost, they make their own soaps, they make their own milks and cheese. All the food that they feed you at that place is like grown all organic there and there was yoga twice a day and so that was a really nice experience to just be in nature eat really healthy food and to do some like outdoorsy adventure activities like rafting and zip lining and stuff so that was really great so after costa rica i came back for a week and then i went to tulum with my friends for five days i told myself that the theme of my year would be joy and so like saying yes to these trips early on was a way for me to say like this year is going to be fun i'm going to prioritize my joy anyway now that i'm back i am realizing that this is going to be a year of change and what's good about having this time like the space to travel and space to think space to journal and reflect is recognizing what my intuition has been telling me and having the courage to follow it that's what i want to talk about today is knowing when to change and also dealing with the fear and the uncertainty of change because too often we like to stay in the same place because it's comfortable what's familiar is comfortable but often life is pushing us to change it's pushing us to evolve and so yeah on this path towards creating my dream life it's like once you thought you knew what you wanted and you went for it and things were going well then life kind of like starts guiding you in new directions and that's what i'm finding so anyway i wanted to share my thoughts on change and how to overcome that fear of change i'll start with this you should never fear change you should fear staying the same change is a constant in life and we are meant to grow and evolve in our journeys and even though you think this might be what you've wanted like it could all change you could be led in a new direction life could be pushing you somewhere else and that's okay that's part of this journey is to be open-minded and to see what comes your intuition is always Always speaking to you the question is are you listening are you doing the work to reflect to journal to spend time in quiet solitude are you listening to yourself are you paying attention to those nuances those like feelings and those responses to your everyday life the more that I take that space to really just be the more I am guided to the paths that I'm meant to go I believe in following your energy because your energy is always taking you in a certain direction. It's always guiding you. So what I mean by your energy is you might notice that certain things that you do deplete your energy. Like if you're in a job that you hate, it's gonna feel exhausting. You're gonna feel like it's literally depleting your energy away. And that is a sign that it is not for you. What is meant for you will always give you energy. It should inspire you. It should motivate you. It should bring you joy. It should make you curious. You should be drawn to the thing that you're doing because naturally like that's the energy that's guiding you you're already being drawn to the things that you're meant to do and where you're meant to go it's just that a lot of people ignore those messages but what you are meant to be doing shows through the energy because you're always going to feel like you get energy from doing that thing you get that creative inspiration you get motivated you get all these like positive feelings it should feel exciting 
and a little bit scary. Fear is something that we all need to get comfortable with because it will be with you on this journey as you are growing and becoming your best self and building this life that you want to live. Fear is something that tells us we are pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zone. And I've been realizing that the worries that I have about my life and my career are rooted in that fear, the fear of uncertainty, fear of if I don't do the same things or if I don't have the same things, then, then what? I don't know what else there is or what is in that openness and that is what's scary and so that's what we tend to run away from we tend to stay doing the things that are the same because they're comfortable and we know what's going to happen if we do them but if we stay in the comfort zone to too long we start to get that internal feeling of like boredom apathy your motivation starts to drop and these are all signs that this is not meant for you anymore. You're meant to push yourself to do something else or to explore something deeper, like expand yourself. So recognize the fear. Like, I see you. I, I get it. It is scary. The unknown is scary. The uncertainty is scary. But have trust. Like, have faith that everything is going according to this greater plan that you cannot see, right? You cannot predict what's meant to happen, but you have to trust that the universe is taking you to where you're meant to go and you won't see the destination all the time and that's okay. You have to be okay simply taking steps based off of the clues that the universe is giving you. Basically, you're always being given clues and your intuition is the one that sees it. So even though you can't see what's meant for you down the line, like you know that where you are right now is not where you're meant to stay, okay? We're all meant to grow in different ways. It's scary not knowing where you're meant to go, what you're meant to do in this world, but trust that feeling. Trust, okay, I, I know this feeling that I'm not meant to be here, and my intuition is telling me this might be the next step, right? This step feels exciting or this step feels a little bit scary, but it feels like it gives me energy, right? Rather than depletes my energy. So all you have to do is follow those little clues, follow those little inklings and just keep taking the steps forward. Even if you don't know where you're going and trust that the puzzle pieces will make sense at the end. It will all unfold and you'll be like, aha, like I get it. It all made sense after the fact. This topic has been on my mind because I feel like I have been shifting. I have been guided in new directions for the past few years. I've been in like this transition period where I'm still kind of holding on to what I have and I'm still trying to do what I'm doing, but I, I have this, like more of my energy and more of my motivation is towards exploring new areas, right? New ideas. I've been making content for over a decade. This year, this spring will actually be 10 years of Lavendaire. And when you're doing anything for 10 years or longer, like, I don't know, I just feel like there must be some change. There's gotta be some evolution there. You're not gonna feel as fulfilled doing the same thing for that long. I feel like you're going to be pushed to do things in a new way or go in new directions, right? And so that's what I've been feeling, but I, I know there is a new direction and a new path, but I am not sure what it is right now. And for the time being, I'm still gonna do what I do. I'm still gonna make content, but I, I feel less and less energized from being on social media and making content consistently as like a content creator. Social media has changed so much and I have not been resonating with like the quick paced, short form, quick tips and hacks types of TikTok videos that are really popular. I just feel like people's attention spans are just getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And I am someone who believes in like going deeper and slower, right? I believe like it's so much more powerful to read a book and to digest it and to implement what you learn from that book, even if it, it takes you like three months to read a book versus if you got those same tips in like bullet 
form in like a one minute TikTok video, right? Like you're gonna watch the TikTok and yeah, you're gonna see those tips, but you're gonna scroll away and a few seconds, you're not gonna remember it, you're not gonna implement it, and you're just on to the next thing. I still believe there is space for people and a community of people who value that slow, steady type of learning and, you know, truly reflecting, truly taking the time to think about ourselves and our lives and make those changes, being consistent every day. It's, it's boring because you're just making tiny changes every day. I think that's why I haven't resonated with creating more of that quick social media new style of video because I don't like to be on TikTok or Instagram myself. So why am I trying to make content that I wouldn't watch myself? I love watching YouTube videos. I love watching deep dives. I, it's so funny, my interest now, because I'll watch one hour long astrology videos. I'll watch hour long finance videos or videos about the economy. And my interests are definitely like, different right now versus when I started this channel 10 years ago. Anyway, the path of me creating my dream life, that's still something that I love. It's still something that I love to talk about. And I still find that my purpose is helping people live their dream lives, right? Helping you overcome whatever it is you need to overcome in order to become your best self and in order to build that life that you've always wanted for yourself. So I've always done that in different forms, through videos, through my products like the workbook. I still think that that is my mission, but I think that there is like a new level that I'm being called to do that. When you're being a content creator, you're you're kind of on this hamster wheel of creating content every single week. If you're on TikTok or Instagram, you're trying to create and post every single day. And when you do that, you don't really have time for other things. I'm trying to make more space in my life for the next big thing that I've been I want to work on. Lately, I've been called to learn more about technology and AI because I think there's so much potential and opportunity there to create something that is like a supercharged version of like the workbook. Or if you can imagine like an AI that is your life coach or an AI that can guide you along the steps of creating your dream life, it can literally be really flexible and adapt to your needs. Like sometimes you could be like, okay, I need you to be hard with me and keep me accountable. And then other times you could be like, I'm feeling lazy this week. Like I don't want to do anything this week. And then it'll adapt to that, but it will still like keep you accountable and give you like, I don't know, all the support you would need to create your dream life. There is potential there. And so these are like new areas that I'm exploring this year. Like I was called to sign up for like conferences this year. So I signed myself up for like a tech conference and then an AI conference in June. And my goal is just to learn, to put myself out there, to meet people, to just see what comes of it. This is what I mean by following the clues. It's like following breadcrumbs. Like I have no idea where I'm meant to go, what I'm meant to do next, but Something in my intuition told me, hey, this is exciting. Like, I like tech. Oh, look at all these new things coming out. This is cool. Like, the way that we communicate, even our phones, like, everything will change, right? We might not be using, like, the same thing, the same form factor anymore because in the future, there's all these, like, new technologies coming. My intuition led me to search, like, what is out there? What can I go to? What events can I check out? And then I found a couple that I liked, and so I signed myself up for them, and that's it. Like, I I don't know what happens beyond that, but life will unfold as I go. Keep in mind that as you're growing and evolving and changing, everything that you've done in your past up to this point is valuable. Everything will be used. Your knowledge, your experiences, the skills you developed, all of that will be used to the next thing. And one thing that I've learned in my experience building Lavendaire and running this business is that I actually don't like being the one that does everything. And I know my strength as a creative, as a visionary in branding or whatever, I really am not the best manager. Like, of course I've improved over time, but it's not something that gives me energy and I think that's what's key. So I think the next thing that is my next project, I'm hoping, I'm manifesting, putting it out there that I will meet people that I can collaborate with. 
like to form a partnership with where I can contribute my strengths and then they have their strengths and resources. And I think that is the ideal scenario that I am looking for. So that's as far as I know right now <laughs> is that I know I don't want to be CEO of another business, but I want to be part of a new business idea that is still related to my mission of helping people achieve their dream life but in a new way with new technology. That excites me because it's something new that I can look forward to. It's a new challenge. It's a new area, a new field to learn and to study about. And if I were to like set my goal as, oh, I wanna grow my Lavender channel and be the best content creator, then I would have to make more videos, like post on TikTok and this and that. And to me, that social media hamster wheel, it just wasn't, resonating with me anymore. It's not motivating me anymore. I love using content as a way to express myself and to share what I've learned, but I'm not gonna create content that I wouldn't watch myself. I'm not going to try to pump out so much short form content. I mean, first of all, I, it just doesn't give me energy at all. It doesn't resonate with me at all. <laughs> Even if I try to force myself to do it, which I often find myself doing with sh like TikToks and that kind of stuff, it's the energy is not there. And so I have to accept that. I think for so long I've been trying, like I just need to batch my time better. I just need to do this better. I just need to organize this better. But I don't think it's about that. I think it's just, the energy is not there and the energy is somewhere else. You can't force yourself to do something that's not meant for you for too long. You have to follow your energy and your curiosity and see where that may lead you. And that kind of transition and that shift is not something that happens overnight. It's really a slow process, a transition. Like I said, I've been feeling this shift for maybe like two to three years, maybe longer, but I'm speaking it out because it is something that I recognize that I have been dealing with, that fear of change, that fear of the unknown and the uncertainty because a part of me had been holding on to what I have. Like, this is so great. Look at what I have. Let me just keep building it. Let me keep doing this. Even if there wasn't as much energy for it, as when I started this 10 years ago. But somehow I have all this energy to dig deep and learn about astrology and to watch all these videos that have nothing to do with content, but everything to do with like, like AI or like economy, other topics. So my interests are like expanding and I'm just going with the flow of the changes, following my intuition in this journey to see where it may lead me. Hopefully it'll lead me to new people that I meet, new opportunities. I, I just think we're all meant to change and evolve. So you deep down will know when it is time to change, when it is time to let something go and when you're ready for the next chapter in your life. So this year, pretty soon, I'm moving into the new house. If you haven't seen the vlog, it's down below. I also feel like that will mark a significant new chapter in in my life. That's not to say I'm not gonna make videos anymore. I'm, YouTube is my favorite platform and I'm gonna keep making videos, especially I think more casual videos like this where I talk about a topic in depth, but it feels like we're hanging out and it feels like we're catching up. Sometimes I feel like the how-to videos are a little too rigid. Yes, they're, they're helpful if you're just looking for like tips, but I don't know, can we have a more like chill, relationship, I'll make a mix of like casual videos, structured videos, and then of course, like my meditations and affirmations that you all love so much. Let me know down below what other videos would you like to see from me this year? What topics would you like me to cover or ponder with you? We could all ponder together these life topics. If you're someone who loves like reflecting and talking about deep topics that people don't typically talk about in small talk, then I suggest you check out our lab and our discord we have a community where we have a bunch of stuff going on like weekly challenges but one thing we have going on every week are our lavi talks so every week we post a new topic and a new thread where you guys can discuss like your thoughts on a topic so that's always a fun place to hang out in our discord so that's it for today sending you so much love and i hope you're having an amazing new year so far bye